Hello everyone and today we have with us Mr. Pawan and he is here to share his experiences with us. So Mr. Pawan, welcome to our channel placement interview and before moving ahead with the interview, tell us something about yourself. Uh, yes, uh, thank you so much Sonia. First of all, I would like to thank uh, the channel uh, for like uh, approaching and uh, uh, and uh, giving me this opportunity to like share my experience with you all people. Uh, and the second important thing is, I uh, hope you all guys are having absolutely fine day. Uh, yeah, so introducing myself. So, uh, yeah, my full name is Pawan Uddhav Maske uh, and I come from Aurangabad, which is the uh, historical capital of Maharashtra state. Uh, moreover, I am currently working as an assistant system engineer trainee at TCS, which is a Tata Technology uh, Tata Consultancy Services. And uh, I, uh, like I have completed my... Uh, engineering in mechanical stream uh, from Jawaharlal Nehru Engineering College, Aurangabad. And uh, uh, I, I uh, was involved in many extracurricular activities as well during my college time. Uh, moreover, uh, my hobbies are uh, like I write to, uh, I, I like to write blogs. Uh, apart from that, I also uh, like to interact with people a lot. And uh, yeah, I am quite active on LinkedIn. You can find me on LinkedIn as well. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty much about me. Okay, yeah. so could you please brief us about the company you're currently working with? Yeah, like Tata Consultancy Services, that is TCS, is an uh, Indian IT MNC company, which has uh, like which operates in more than forty six countries, and uh, like uh, it was uh, uh, it uh, like it is one of the top companies in the world uh, when you when you encounter every IT company in the world. So uh, it has more than five lakh employees uh, and counting more. Uh, so uh, yeah, so like there are. Uh, there are multiple business units in which uh, TCS operates, like banking and financial is there. Then you have automo uh, automotive and industry. Then you have many other uh, BUs, verticals. So like TCS is a service provider and a consultancy company uh, when it comes to IT department. Yeah. So as you work as a system engineer, and mm -hmm. would you be more specific about your job role? Like how does your day looks like? What are the day-to-day -day responsibilities you have to go through? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So uh, currently, uh, I am working for a project. Uh, where the cl our client is uh, basically Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, which is FCA, uh, which and I uh, I work along with that team. Uh, so I have a chance to interact with all of the people all over the world, like uh, the EMEA people, which is the Europe people, and the second is NAFTA, which is North America uh, North Americans. Uh, so like on a daily daily basis, I interact with them. I uh, like I uh, the first thing I do is uh, I make the policy files for the connected vehicles. So our project is related to connected vehicles in which uh, we are transforming their uh, that uh, all the uh, all the information and all the applications that are being transferred to the cloud. And we are that uh, it like it would be uh, 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 you all like the people the people who are buying the vehicles will get an application uh, and uh, on that application that they can track everything like the tire brushing including everything uh, about the vehicle so maintenance issue, issues everything. Okay, so as you know, the skills are really very important in shaping our career. So what are the skills that are needed for a system engineer to have it within themselves? Yeah, so the first thing I would say is, uh, the first thing I would say is, uh, you should uh, always uh, have the, uh, you should always accept this fact that you always have to learn. The thing is that uh, in IT, there are many technologies, disruptive technologies that change within a year. So you have, you must have that attitude of learning every time and uh, you should like, you should uh, possess the, uh, the, uh, uh, I'm not getting the exact word, but uh, you should, uh, uh, like, I should have the uh, capability to learn, continuously learn. On the, uh, on the other hand, uh, you sh uh, like, there are many technologies, so you should be aware of what is happening around you. Uh, Moreover, I would uh, if I uh, if I have to focus on any technology that uh, is currently there, I would go for Java. Uh, there are many uh, machine learning and AI uh, is there. Then you should uh, have a knowledge about it because in my uh, in my project, what I'm doing is I'm uh, like I'm using some uh, techniques uh, like I'm using Python pandas for sorting and making the policy files. So this uh, this in this way uh, like manually like writing the code manually is other thing. But writing the like preparing a Python a pandas code and then using it for writing other code. So this is something unique. So like you are using a code to write a different code. So in in the future maybe yeah. So like still uh, there are a lot of things that uh, that you have to do in that code. But yeah. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the skills that are required would be uh, you should have a good logic, uh, build good logic, uh, try to solve the problems, try to find innovative ways in which we can solve the problem which is already there. 
Yeah, what are the resources and the platforms which we can use in order to gain the skills okay, okay. that you mentioned, the technical skills, uh, basically? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so there are many, uh, many uh, courses that are available on Udemy and Coursera. Like most of them are free. Uh, like they, you, do, you do not get a certificate for that, but uh, definitely you get a, to learn a lot about that. And uh, moreover, YouTube is a good resource. Like uh, this channel, you know, including this channel, this shares an experience of all peoples. So, for example, uh, similarly, there are many YouTube channels which teach you how to code, how to write a code, how to do competitive programming. So that helps. And uh, mo uh, moreover, if I talk about uh, some of the courses, there are many paid courses available on the internet. You can go through that. Okay. So any suggestions or tips that you want to give us to our audience who actually want to join the company as you're working mm -hmm. with and the job road you're currently? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I would say that uh, it is currently raining uh, like cats and dogs. Like IT jobs are raining like cats and dogs right now. And you can like, you may have read it in the news that like uh, the IT companies in India would be high, uh, like are on a hiring spree and they, ha they are hiring everyone that comes across. So uh, like for that purpose, if you want to go for an IT company and if you are from a core or maybe any, any background, just have to focus on two things. The first one is your aptitude and second is the coding part. Okay. Yeah. So before moving at the end, I would like to add one more question. That is mm -hmm. what has been your experience overall and how do you manage up to cope up with difficulties and what is your expectations? So would you share something about it? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So uh, I, uh, before TCS, I was selected in a uh, mechanical company, but uh, as like everyone knows that uh, mechanical, uh, like uh, they do not have good packages. On the other hand, uh, they have repetitive work. So that is the reason why I thought of moving towards IT. And since everyone, everything was going towards IT, I moved uh, to the IT sector. And the second thing uh, I would say that uh, my, uh, my, uh, my what are my expectations for my IT department uh, is IT is that uh, I, I like to learn a lot. I like to interact with people uh, like and this job gives me an opportunity to react uh, to interact with everyone all around the world. As I mentioned, the EMEA people and the NAFTA people. So this is a second biggest opportunity that anyone as a fresher can get. So like it, uh, it has been like uh, quenching my thirst for uh, like interaction. Uh, moreover, uh, I would say that uh, learning opportunities there. Apart from that, uh, the work work culture is really good because the people are empathetic, uh, empathetic over here, and uh, that I and understand being a fresher, it is not easy for us to cope up with everything. Like all of them uh, in my team are professional coders. They they are they are having a good experience of two to three years minimum and uh, like for me it is really hard to get into it but i'm uh, like i'm learning on a daily day daily, daily basis and that is what is uh, challenging for me and uh, i'm loving it here at thesis okay yeah okay so mr pavan thank you for joining in with us today and it was yeah. amazing talking to you and thanks for sharing your experience with us yeah thank you so much thank you so much thank you for this opportunity